Let's look at Venn diagrams that include three circles. So the example says, shade in the following on a Venn diagram. We've got four Venn diagrams here, and then we've got some set notation for which we're going to shade in each of these Venn diagrams. So the first example is A intersect B intersect C complement. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the left and work our way through each symbol until we've shaded the Venn diagram for this. We first have A, which is this top circle here, and we're looking at the intersection with B. So A intersect B would be this region over here. And now we're also looking at the intersection of this with C complement. So C complement is everything outside of this circle here. Therefore, this middle region is not included in A intersect B intersect C complement because it's within C. However, we're looking at the intersection with C complement. So everything that's outside of C. And so we shade in this region here, not including the middle part or the intersection between A, B and C. The second example says A intersect B in brackets and then we have union C. So again, we're going to work our way from the left and we're going to start with the first bracket here. So we have A intersect B and so A intersect B is this region here and we're looking at the union with C. So we're going to combine A intersect B with C. And so all of C is this circle here. And so looking at the union, this would include both A intersect B and all of C. And so we shade in all of this region, which leaves us with A intersect B union C. The third example says A complement intersect B union C in brackets. So again, start from the left, we've got A complement first. So if we shade in A complement, A complement is going to be everything outside of this circle here, which is A. And so we have everything on the outside of the three circles, as well as everything that's outside of circle A. So all of the regions that are outside of this circle A, which includes this region here inside B, as well as this middle region here, which is the intersection of B and C, and also this region here inside C. So this is all A complement. So from everything that is shaded in red, we now require the intersection with B union C. So B union C is everything that's inside these two circles at the bottom here. And so the intersection of A complement with B union C would just be these regions within these two bottom circles. And so we would need to rub out everything that's outside of the three circles to end up with this. And so this is a region for A complement intersect B union C in brackets. The final example says A complement union B in brackets intersect C complement. So again, start from the left and we start with this first bracket we're looking at A complement union B. So that's everything that's outside of A as well as everything that's within B. So if we shade each of these individually, then everything that's outside of A is going to be all of the region outside of the three circles, as well as these two regions here, as well as this middle region here. So that's everything that's outside of A. So all of this is A complement. And now we're looking at the union with B. So A complement union B would include everything that's in B. And so that's this region here, as well as this region here, since everything inside this circle in the bottom left is part of B. And so A complement union B is given by all of this. We now need to look at the intersection of the shaded region with C complement. So C complement would be everything that's outside of this bottom right circle here that represents C. So we can't include this region here and we can't include this region here and we can't include this region here since all three of these regions are within C and we want the intersection with C complement. In other words, we want all of the region that is outside of C. So rubbing these three regions out, we get this region as 
A complement, union B in brackets, intersect C complement. So in summary, when trying to shade in Venn diagrams with three circles, it's ideally best to start from the left and work your way through each symbol, shading in each part and then identifying whether you're looking at the intersection or the union between each of the symbols within your question.